I've gone back to school so you don't have to. When you start investing, one element that is important to take into consideration is personal risk appetite. So you have a rough idea about what areas or types of investment to be focusing your attention on. Risk profiling, which leads to measuring your tolerance to risk, is subjective, but capacity for risk, which should come first, is objective. So depending on your age, financial circumstances, and investing goals, your capacity for risk will vary. The general rule here is that the longer your investing time horizon is, the more risk you will be able to handle. So younger people who are investing for their retirement can typically have a higher risk tolerance because they have decades to weather the larger fluctuations that might be in store for their portfolio value. However, if you are an investor who is closer to retirement age, you may want to consider investments that have less volatility and therefore less risk. Generally speaking, there are three main investor types. Conservative investors who seek out stable, reliable investments that will grow incrementally and won't be prone to high volatility. Balanced investors who expect growth but understand the ups and downs they may have to face in order to get there. And finally, high risk investors who expect high volatility with the idea that high risk leads to the potential for high reward. That last type can consider allocating most or even all of their portfolio to the highest risk asset classes, such as shares. 